Hi Essex, welcome to Maths. I hope you got on really well with the uh, the assessment. Uh, time to set yourself up for uh, today and the learning objective decimals up to two decimal places. You can use the abbreviation DP, so 2DP if you uh, if you would like. Let's do some review. So three questions here. What fraction is represented on the bar model? And uh, write it as a decimal. Complete the part whole models here, which are decimal. And what is the value of the digit six in this number? OK, pause the video. And have a go. Okay, let's see how you got on. So seven seven uh, tenths, first of all. So we should find that we've got ten equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It then says what fraction is represented by the bar model. The it, it doesn't explicitly say, but I think it's fair to um, assume we're talking about the shaded areas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of those ten equal parts are shaded. So seven tenths as as a decimal 0 0.7 so as we work up through the tenths 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 all the way up to to one you could think about seven divided by ten yeah, so that would mean this number would go that way, one place. That's another way of looking at it. OK, so one is made out of four tenths and six tenths so um 0.4 and 0.6 so now if you couldn't do this one you can add to two tenths to make a whole there we go that's the eight tenths or 0.8 and the value here. Six ones. So just to be clear going all the way through, we've got, got three tens here. This is the, the the tenths, so four tenths, and this is the hundreds, eight hundred. Yeah, let's do some exploring of decimals today. It's important here that the frame is worth one whole, and the one whole is um, segmented into equal equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. 2 times 5 is 10. Right, so each part would be worth one tenth or um, 0 0.1 so or 0 0.1s. So we know that 10 tenths, 10 of these equals one whole. Mm. 
So the frame now is worth one tenth. So this whole frame. And the frame has been divided into, again, 10 equal segments. So what does this represent? Hundredths. So how many how many hundredths make one tenth? Well, it's ten. So let's uh, pause the video and have a look. How many how many ones? How many tenths? How many hundredths? And what's the number? Clearly, that's that's zero. There are there are no value, no value here. Here we got the the decimal point, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tenths, and this is the hundredths. How many are there? Two, so two hundredths. Therefore, the number is what? Now it's worth considering when you're writing this number, do you need that place value column? The answer to that question is no. We do need this one. Uh, so even if there are zero ones, we need to put, put that uh, in. Zero ones, decimal point, seven tenths, two hundredths. So have a look at that, check you understand. Have a go at this one. Three. How many tenths? One. How many hundredths? Three. So the number is 3.13. Three ones, one tenth, three hundredths. Where's the value of the digit five in each of these numbers? Have a little think for a moment. Pause the video and you're looking at the the five in each case. So we're looking at uh, the 2.05 there. Putting it on the place value grids. Five hundredths. Five hundredths is represented by naught point naught five. So what about this one? So in some, in many ways, you know, you can do this from knowledge, you know, prior to doing any decimals, because that's the number fifty-seven. And here we know this is the ones, so this is the tenths. How many tenths? Five tenths. How, how would you represent that? If you were to put it here in, in your place value grid, you'd end up with, and you have to, you have to put the decimal place, and we've got no ones. 0 0.5. Let's do a checkpoint. See how you're doing. My number is 0 0.64. Is that true or false? And please explain. Pause the video and have a go. Mm. 
OK, so the answer is false. The six is equal to six tenths, not six tens. We should say 0 0.64. So if you have this number, and you want to label it up with the, the tens, the tenths, and the hundredths, and we call it 0 0.6, as in 6 uh, tenths, and 4, as in 4 hundredths. Let's take some time to, to sort of think that through, puzzle it out, talk to your, um, your study buddy, So step one, if you have a go at questions one to four on the worksheet, please remember to use the marking station to self-assess and correctly for moving on. You want to make sure that you're doing this correct. If you're not doing it correct, uh, sometimes once you've seen the answers, you can work backwards. You think, ah, OK, I know what I did wrong. If you have it, have it uh, the answers wrong and you don't know why, that's the time to, to, to let me know. If you ask a specific question, I can give you a specific answer. Have a look at these. So 0 0.93 in the place value grid. 0 0.93 represented in a whole part part. This number is made is made up. We can see here of those nine tenths. There's the nine tenths. There it is in situ. There. Here we've got the three hundredths. There we go. There's the three hundredths. Now, if you're imagining that was written on just on its own, we've got the three, and now we would have the zero because we're just we're just looking at those hundreds and there's the decimal place and we put that one in as well there we go so what's the same what's different what do you notice let's have a look this one's definitely zero that's zero Got the same headings up here. Therefore, we've got tenths here, hundreds here, tenths here, hundreds here. Definitely seem to be different values. So, what what do you notice there? Have a think. Pause the video. So we've got nine tenths and three hundredths. So the value of that number is 0 0.93. So therefore, let's think ahead to this one, 0 0.8. Uh, how many are here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13. Ah, OK. What do we do? Because how many of those made how many of those made one of those? Well, it was only 10 and we've gone above 10. So that's interesting, isn't it? So here we had two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we had eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got these three extra here. So let me have a think about how how that's how that's done. So once we 
have our 0.93 and we've broken up using the place value grid we've got eight tenths and then we've got uh, i see so we've got zero point oh look here here's here's another another tenth here ah so where did this come where did that tenth come from i think i can see it's come from because we knew look there were 10 of those make one of those so we could probably we add another one in there would that work two four six eight nine and now we've just got the three there yeah so how many other ways could you partition uh, 0.93. So step two, have a go at questions uh, five and six. Again, use the marking station, make sure you're correct or incorrect before moving on. Pause the video. So let's do some more thinking. Um, here's our little friend, the tortoise, seven ones and two hundreds is seven point two as a decimal hmm. is that correct okay so lay out in the place value grid there we go there we go now what looks wrong here because it does it does look wrong doesn't it we've got seven ones and two two tenths there are no tenths only hundreds two of those yeah it's a place value error so forgot to put the zero in the tenths which changes it quite a lot changes it from 7.2 or seven and two tenths and it, and it ought to be seven no tenths and two hundredths or seven and two hundredths. Here's Whitney, she's got four digit cards, one, five, two, three. She needs to place them all in the boxes below. What's the largest number Whitney can make? We've done making largest numbers and smallest numbers. You know the strategy. It's no different really with the decimal place. Give it a go. And what's the smallest number that she can make? How many different numbers can Whitney make? And remember when you have these place cards, it's, um, she has four digit cards so she only has four cards so she only has one 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 five one two and one three so have a think uh, of those about those questions pause the video I got the rest of the questions if you feel that you're doing really well and and that will be step three so good luck with the maths uh, today spend about an hour on your maths and uh, very best of luck do ask any questions on dojo 
and year six uh, take care